Hello science people! Today I want to talk to you about the difference between gametes and somatic cells. What is a gamete? A gamete is a sex cell. What is a sex cell? A sex cell is for the purpose of reproduction. And so there are two types of gametes. There are sperm and there are eggs. And so in humans, if you are male, you produce sperm. And if you're female, you produce eggs. Those are your gametes. The other types of cells that you have are called somatic cells. These are body cells. So everything else besides your gametes is referred to as a somatic cell. Now this distinction is important when we talk about chromosomes because as a diploid organism, you have two of every chromosome inside all of your cells, except your gametes. So if you were to take my skin cells, you would find 46 chromosomes or 23 pairs of chromosomes. You take any of the cells in my body, you're gonna find 46 chromosomes or 23 pairs of chromosomes. But if you were to take my gametes, I'm male, so I produce sperm. So if you were to take one of my sperm cells, you'd only find 23 chromosomes because our gametes are haploid. They only have one of every chromosome. This is important because we are going to reproduce and create a diploid organism. And so if sperm and egg come together, so humans are supposed to be 46 chromosomes, if your sperm and your eggs had both 46 chromosomes and they came together, then you'd have 92 chromosomes. That wouldn't be a human. And so in order to produce, new humans, our gametes have to have half the amount of chromosomes. And so human sperm and human eggs are haploid with only 23 chromosomes. And so when they come together, they make a human that is 46 chromosomes. That is why you have two of every type of chromosomes. One was in the sperm and one was in the egg. So the two gametes fused together. Now, when a sperm and an egg fuse together and they make a fertilized egg, that single cell we call a zygote. So it's important to know the definitions. A zygote is a fertilized egg. A zygote is when the fusion of two gametes happens, we have a zygote. And so the zygote for humans would be diploid. It would have 46 chromosomes. Because again, the sperm had 23 chromosomes, the egg had 23 chromosomes, those come together, and now we have a human that is 46 chromosomes. Well, I hope you enjoyed talking about gametic cells versus somatic cells. I'll see you next time.